again, again with the child rape. But like, if we just hit the the jackpot here, movie club with the, pff, more child rape. Seriously. <laughs> uh, despite that, though, I well, okay. After seeing Kite Runner, I never thought I would say I liked a movie that involved child rape. But here we are, sleepers. Uh, yeah, it was just. This was a great movie. I'm a big fan of The Count of Monte Cristo, which the characters in the movie are, and they're all pretty much recreating that experience with the, the whole imprisonment and getting back and exacting their revenge years later. It's, it's a good story. And as I said last time, I normally go with the, the movies that uh, don't have the nice, neat, happy endings all the time. And this movie, I really thought they were going to be like, end the scene where they're all in the bar and they're having a good time. Like, yeah, we're friends again. But then it kept going and explained how the, the two shooters die and how the other guys go on to basically live alone and kind of sad. So I mean, it was a really bittersweet ending, which was fantastic. It fit the movie quite well. Along the lines of the actors, I kind of feel like they made a bigger deal out of having Kevin Bacon in the movie than they needed to, as he was only really in the movie for 25 minutes. And I mean, yeah, his, his character was a pretty central part of the plot, but he, he just wasn't in the movie that much. And I guess I'm okay with that, because the whole time he was in the movie, he was like raping children. So it was good to see him leave. But I, I don't know, just if you look at the, the cover of the, the movie itself on the DVD or whatever picture they give you on Netflix, like Kevin Bacon's listed as on the top. And I don't, I don't know how those things work exactly. Maybe it's, I don't think it's alphabetical order. I'm going to feel silly if it is. I'm going to look into that. But I don't know, just, I don't see why he deserved top billing. No. <clears throat> Robert De Niro, he's always fantastic no matter what he does. And I loved seeing him as a priest, uh, especially the, the scene where he was walking down the street and uh, threatened to kill that guy for beating up the one of the kids. Like one of the kids' stepfathers beat him horribly. Uh, Mini Driver. I'm not normally a big fan of Mini Driver, but I don't know, for some reason, her with her New York accent, she was awesome. I thought she was great. Uh, like everything else I've seen her in, she just kind of annoyed me, and I don't know why, but she was. I liked her a lot in this. It was fantastic. I don't know any of their names, but a couple of the kid actors, they were really good. I mean, with, with child actors, they're always either like, you know, child actors, or they're just those stars that are amazing when they were, even when they were young, like uh, Dakota Fanning. I've always loved her, not that she's in this movie, but the kids that were acting in this movie, I think they've grown up to become adult actors now, I'm pretty sure. I should look into that too before I go running my mouth off, but they were awesome. They were fantastic actors. But I guess if you're going to have a movie with uh, child rape, the child actor should be pretty dang good. That's kind of a must-have. And again, a movie club. Can we not see another movie with child rape in it ever again? <laughs> Please, it's two within like a week and a half of each other. So just stop. <laughs> Ugh. So yeah, overall, it was a good movie. I liked it a whole lot. I'd never heard of it before, and was pleasantly surprised. Way to go, movie club.